Hi, my name is Taylor Keen, and I'm the CEO and founder of Social Boomin. Today we're just going to do another Facebook tutorial video on how to create a pixel and then how to install it onto your Wix website. So real quickly, all you're going to have to do is go, if you want to create the pixel, go to business.facebook.com. Now what you're going to want to do is go down to your settings right here. Now there's multiple ways to get to your these settings, but we're just I'm just going to show you the easiest way. I like going on the back end, which makes it a little easier to see. Now, all you're going to do is go to Data Sources Pixels. If you do not have a pixel created already, what you're going to want to do is just click Add right there, and follow the instructions. You type in your website address and move forward with your platform, etc. But like today you would just create your pixel and instead of following Wix's instructions, you're gonna follow my instructions because their instructions are a little outdated and don't their website looks different than it did when they made that tutorial. So, after you have your pixel installed and you've got the pixel number right here, which you actually don't even need, it's just gonna log into your Facebook, you're gonna to go to your Wix site, then you're gonna go over here to Marketing and SEO, click on Marketing Integrations right here, it's going to say Facebook Pixel and Cappy. You're going to click Connect. Now you're going to click Connect to Facebook. And ask for your password. And you just follow the instructions. It's super simple. So continue. Now make sure you have the correct business manager and the correct pixel selected over here. Just turn on an automatic advanced matching and then you want to allow all customer information to be shared to allow you to help match the people who are visiting your website for retargeting on Facebook and Instagram and their audience network. So after that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click continue. Boom, boom. Next. Take a second and just finish right up. And now you can see that it's going to say connected, which is awesome. And then over on this side of things with your Facebook pixel. So let's see, there's no recent activity. It's because I just installed it. I clicked open an events manager on the top, top hand corner. And once it pops up right here, then you can set up your web events from the pixel. So it's add events using pixel code or the event setup tool. You can also create conversions API since you set up the, that's a pixel and Cappy, so conversions API with uh, Wix now. So that is a cool feature. So you can do the conversions API setup. Also you can do the event easy setup if you wanna do that as well. And this is where you go for your aggregated event measurement. I made a video on this already. So if that's something that you want to check out, I'll link that for you below. And overall, my next video I'll make is going to be on the conversions API and how to set up all those conversions properly. So I hope you enjoyed the content. Give us a like, subscribe if you want to see more Facebook tutorials. We do have a lot of experience in Facebook tutorials with various companies and running various different style campaigns from engagement to lead generation to messaging campaigns, um, all sorts of stuff. So if you do want us to do any marketing for you as well, or you can't, yeah, like I said, even if you can't figure something out, uh, something out, just let us know and we'll get right in there and help you fix it. And maybe we are a good fit for doing your marketing in the future. So have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you next time on your next social boom in tutorial.